Yo, it's almost like this hookup culture is something that women have really pushed on themselves because it's like, what chances does an average regular nigga have of getting the pussy that he wants to get in this type of world where the average nigga ain't her first choice anyways? This bitch is looking at Drake and Future and all these niggas that, that can provide a whole lavish lifestyle. That's what they, that's what all women want. Most, most of them, that's what, that's what they want. They just want to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? And for the women that are go-getters that got their own and shit, they don't want a nigga that has less than them because they don't want to ever feel that pressure of, well, if I stop working, if I stop this, my man, what can my man really handle? You know what I'm saying? They don't want that type of pressure. So we live in this age where it's like, yo, if I'm an average dude and I have average things to provide, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to give you the dick right away. Because if I don't push sex on you right away, then you're going to friends on me. I, it's like I almost have to, I got to hit the pussy right away. I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, be extra sexually aggressive and shit just to not get friend zoned. But if I try to court you as an average dude, you're going to put me in the friend zone. And then it's like, what if I really like you? Well... It's like I'm working against myself if I don't try to fuck you as soon as possible. So now I got to be a savage out in the streets like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to bust that ass. I got to give you that masculine, raw energy. Hit it. You feel me? Turn you the fuck out and really give you this experience. And us having sex right away, you know, what is that? Does that help the long term? The longevity of our relationship, I don't know. I really don't. It's just kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? But all I know is that, you know what I'm saying, for an average guy, if you spend time trying to court a female, trying to take her out on dates, trying to get to know her over extensive amounts of periods of time, you're going to end up in a friend zone because all these other niggas is pushing up on her, trying to get her dick right away. And then she looking at you like, well, this nigga, like... I, like, like this nigga, like I let these other niggas fuck me, like in, in just you know a couple of days of knowing me. Like I don't fuck girls in three hours of knowing them. So I already know the game. I'm not hurting. I'm not none of that. But it's just like I'm trying to take a step back and look at the game. Like yo, if if like men wouldn't be in a rush to have sex if they knew that. Courting a woman would actually increase their chances of getting with that woman because men want to have sex just like women want to have sex Women just want to have sex and be comfortable that they chose the highest option they, These days women are thinking like well if this nigga ain't got shit I can't let him fuck and that's the mentality That's the mentality like he ain't got shit. He ain't got more than me he average nigga every motherfucking man You see on the block is motherfucking average Most men ain't got shit most men, you got to partner up with as a team and build shit so y'all could both have shit. And that's the reality. But a lot of these chicks don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Which is how a lot of these niggas actually get rich because they got a bottom bitch. Somebody with a like mind that they teamed up with, partnered up with. And, and they got a bag together. You know what I'm saying? Um... And that's what a lot of men want that ain't got shit. Like, we want a solid chick that we could talk to about anything, be completely honest with, be ourselves with, and she just loves us. She's loyal to us because she values us. And once we have that, we'll lay down our lives in a heartbeat because that's our instinctive drive as men. But we're not just going to lay our lives down for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do we do? Like, what do we do? Like, the best option for an average dude is to become not average as quickly as possible. To run that fucking bag up. Because that's the only thing that's going to make people respect you. Everything costs money. You feel me? It costs money to have Wi-Fi to get on the gram. To post videos. Everything costs money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and these bitches are looking at you like, well, I ain't fucking on no broke niggas. These bitches is, bro these bitches is in debt and broke. Average niggas be having more money than these bitches and these bitches still be like, man, these, I can't fuck with these broke niggas. Well, you's a broke ass bitch. We all broke. How the fuck we gonna fix this shit? 
by by us going back and forth about who's broker? How about how about we broker a meeting? How about we put our minds together? How about we have you know what I'm saying? How about we actually have some patience and sit? Because once a man got a solid chick that he actually liked, that's attractive to him, he's going he's going in. You feel me? He's going in. Like, but once a woman get with a man that's solid, she's still looking like, oh man, can I do better? You feel me? Can I do better and this and that? You feel me? Like, this shit crazy. Of course you could do better. Of course you could do better. But in which category? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you could find a bigger dick somewhere else. You could find somebody with bigger pockets somewhere else. You could find somebody who looks better with bigger muscles somewhere else. You could find somebody who's taller somewhere else. You could find somebody with a bigger network somewhere else. But at the end of the day, who are you bringing all that back to? These niggas ain't finna marry your, your ass. A lot of niggas ain't finna trying to settle down with you and take you fucking serious. You better be paying attention to the niggas that want to take you serious for the long term because these are the niggas that's trying to create something big and then bring that shit back to you so you can hold that shit. Niggas don't want to have a woman that's like a bucket with a hole at the bottom where we just, you know what I'm saying, investing, investing, investing time, energy, thought, you know what I'm saying, thoughtfulness. You know what I'm saying? Taking risks, putting ourselves in danger, and then we doing all this, and then we go look in the bucket and there's nothing there because it's just, you feel me, Shawty was loose. But Shawty really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? She her mind was somewhere else. Like money bag yo said it best. Like, you can't, like, bruh, there is no loyalty. You feel me? If especially like, yo, if you broke, if you ain't got like a bag, like if you ain't on no six figure ink, bro. Bitches ain't even fucking with you. Like, they not even, you're not the first choice, bro. You're not the first choice if you really not, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't give a bitch a thousand, two thousand here, you know, every couple of weeks or some shit, you're not the first choice. You know what I'm saying? The money bag, yo, said it less. Like, in, in today's times, there's no loyalty. You feel me? It's too much, there's, there's too much on social media. Bitches going on vacations. Bitches looking at other bitches, trying to one up other bitches. Look at my man, look at my man, look at this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's all it's all crazy you know what i'm saying and on top of all that we all still looking for love everybody still wants love even the motherfuckers that's the coldest black hearted ass motherfuckers out here still want love you feel me and if you didn't you know if you were missing love growing up as a child you know i'm all, you, you know what i'm saying it's even more like you that's even it's even more of an emphasis for you to find real love somebody that's real somebody that's gonna really gonna hold the shit down you know what i'm saying and be bad about it you know, I'm about to walk up in this gas station and grab my shit. Peace and prosperity to the family. Let's get it, man. Stay down till you come up. <laughs>